I'm Tara from livingonadime.com. Today I'm doing 10 recipes and tips to use up all that zucchini. If you have any questions while we go along, please post them in the comments and I will try to answer them. Um, today I finished my school shopping. Yay! A little quick tip, my one son, he had a fabric backpack that was kind of dirty but it was still in good shape. So I just threw it in the washer. And it came out great, looks beautiful. So if you have a fabric backpack, try that. It looks really, it works really well. Um, so today I'm telling you how to use up all this zucchini. And I have a whole bunch of zucchini here, which you can't even see at all. Okay, here it is. Ah, lots of zucchini, and this isn't even my zucchini, because I didn't grow any this year. This is all neighbors that have given us, we're on a neighborhood uh, email list where if people have extra things they just put them on there like if they have a desk they want to give away or a car to sell or want a carpool whatever and someone put on there that they had extra zucchini so I was like hey I'll take it because I didn't grow any so today I'm telling you some of the recipes so to start off um, zucchini can be used in a lot of things it doesn't just have to be used in zucchini bread or zucchini muffins. Um, and I'm going to tell you a couple of tips here. First of all, when you're slicing anything for, um, oh, you know, like you're peeling it. Like I was working on carrots for my slaw. I want to show you a tip. Take a Walmart, just a grocery sack, fold down the sides like this, and you can see I already kind of got started. And then when you go to peel, I'm using this carrot for a recipe, so I'm just doing that right here. Um, then when you go to peel, just peel it straight into the sack here. Um, and there's my carrot and let's do the zucchini here chop chop that one got a little bad spot then just peel it straight into the bag see just like this and then I kind of adapted this from something my mom used to do she used to put newspaper down but we don't get the newspaper um, so then you're peeling it. Then when you're done, just take your bag and throw it all away or take it all out to the compost bin. So that's a really easy way to um, have a disposable cutting, um, well, not really a cutting mat, but uh, peelings. Mom would lay newspapers down and then she would fold the whole thing up and throw it either in the compost pile or um, in the trash. And um, I'm going to peel my zucchinis here so I can get those done before I get started while Mike's fixing my light. Am I having light issues? Yes. Hello, everyone. Okay. Mike's here. He's behind the scenes today. So I think that's enough. So one of my first tips is to make a zucchini slaw. And you can see I already started with my carrots. Um, and just take your zucchini and shred it just like so in with your carrots instead of cabbage. Or you can add it to cabbage, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I do it straight into the bowl. And this recipe here is in Dining on a Dime cookbook on page 156 for my coleslaw. And I'm just substituting zucchini for the cabbage. That's in Dining on a Dime. And I just shred it all up like so. Then I add, oops, all kinds of little things fell. That's the thing I hate about shredding is it gets all over. 
Then I add my mayonnaise and a dab of sugar. And don't go oh gross about the sugar until you try it because my coleslaw is gone at any gathering. It's the first one gone because it tastes super good. Don't you think, dear? What do you think of my coleslaw? I think it's awesome. Um, I would think I had my ear in a different thing. I think, can you look on livingonadime.com? I have coleslaw and I forgot to put the link for you, but it's there. And then you have zucchini slaw, which is just like coleslaw, but with zucchini. So that's one way to do it. This is what we're eating for dinner tonight. Just so you know, dear. Is it zucchini slaw that you want me to put on it? No, coleslaw. And then I just substitute. Do I not have coleslaw on the website? If so, it's probably in something else. Oh, okay. Well, then buy the book. Here's the book. <laughs> Page 156, if you have it, I'm sure we had coleslaw, C-O-L-E, -C huh, okay, so it's just um, carrots, cabbage, sugar, and mayonnaise. Um, then the next thing you can do with it is make zucchini bread. My daughter just made this one um, two days ago. And if you have Dining on a Dime Cookbook, it is on page, let's see, what page is it on? Right here, Dining on a Dime, page 240, and Mike will put the link up there for you. It's the first zucchini recipes one. Right there, page, um, and this is great because you can make zucchini muffins out of it. You can make chocolate zucchini bread, which you just take the zucchini, um, bread recipe omit about a um, quarter cup of flour yeah about a quarter cup of flour and put in a quarter cup of um, what do you what do you call it um, baking cocoa instead and that's how you make zucchini um, chocolate zucchini bread so then the next thing I'm going to show is you can freeze zucchini in a couple of different ways. One of the ways is to just slice it like this. And I don't know, how big are those? Those are about quarter inch slices or so. And then what I do is I put them in little bags like this, the little sandwich bags, and I throw them in there. This is about We'd probably use about double this in the summer, in the winter. So that would fill the bag up that way. The other way to do it is to take your zucchini and then um, shred it. And I'll show you here. I knew that I needed another zucchini for something. I couldn't remember what it was. Um, you can shred it up. Doo, 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 doo. Is there anybody watching us or am I by myself today? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of people. <laughs> Actually, Grizz270 says zucchini bread and zucchini, zucchini relish. Yum, yum. Yeah, zucchini relish is a really good one to do um, that a lot of people don't think of doing. Anita was talking about um, this is zucchini. She said zucchini bread, yum. Yeah, I wish I wasn't gluten free because that's I really one of the main things I really miss about being gluten free is bread. Well, of course, that's kind of a dumb statement, but <laughs> but I just I love my pumpkin breads and my banana breads and zucchini breads and that kind of thing. So um, everybody's loving it, huh? Yep. Yay! Okay, so I'm shredding it up here, and what I'm gonna do is. Um, I put it, so my zucchini bread is two cups of zucchini. I just had to make sure. And so what I'll do is, um, ow, slice my finger. Um, that's about two cups, give or take. I don't know. I usually measure it, but for today. And then I just take the whole thing and I freeze it shredded like this. 
probably need just a little bit more. And then I just throw it in two cup measures, measuring in two cup portions, is what I'm trying to say, um, and throw it, if you flatten it out, it'll lay, see so it'll lay flat in your freezer instead. So just stack them up and put them in your freezer. Then my daughter can make you zucchini bread all year long. Um, the other tip is you can use it to replace um, carrots in a lot of recipes. So like in Dining on a Dime, whoops, there, on page 272, I have carrot cookies. And if you wanted, you could just replace the carrots for zucchini in this recipe, and that works really well also. Um, the other recipes you can use it is you could do like a zucchini saute where it's zucchini. Can you put the link up there, Mike? It's the first, the easy zucchini recipes. Um, it's zucchini, olive oil, onion, garlic, thyme, and salt and pepper. And you just saute that and then just serve it as a side dish to your um, dinner. Mike's putting the link on there and it'll be in the description below. You can make chicken cacciatore with it. Um, you just brown your chicken in oil and then you just add olive oil, stewed tomatoes, mushrooms, zucchini, basil, pepper, and then pasta and just cook the other ingredients and then serve it over the pasta. And then of course, zucchini cake. Um, let's see, some other ideas. Um, fried zucchini, which I'm going to make for you next. So I'm going to make a gluten-free version and a regular version, but questions? Oh, just since you were shredding that pan that I sliced mine and combined with spaghetti, I serve it at my daycare and they love it. Yes, that's an actually a really good idea that you can combine it with anything. Um, and actually that's what I'm getting ready to tell you here. Um, let's see. Um, okay, sorry, I lost my notes here. That's a great idea. So some of the things that you can add zucchini to, and people won't even notice it's in there, it's like a cucumber. I mean, so people, it's got a neutral flavor. So it adds, a, you know, nutrition without changing the flavor of a lot of things. So you could put it in potato salads. You put it in tuna salad. You can put it on ham salad, chicken salad, and um, you can add it in spaghetti sauce that type of thing or like whoever who was it Susanna said that she puts it in with her noodles you can also slice the zucchini it was Pam oh Pam excuse me Pam um you can also take your zucchini and slice it and let me show you real quick can you pull the camera back down oh yes sorry um and you can take slices Okay, I'm not going to I'm not going to do all of it, but you can take and do ribbons with the um, peeler and just do ribbons like this. And you can make zucchini noodles. So you just take these zucchini noodles, see just like that. Saute them in um, put some oil in the pan, add some crushed garlic, and then just saute them and add some salt and pepper. And you can use these for noodles instead of rice if you'd like. Um, and then they just cook up and they make really, really good noodles. Um, then the last thing I'm going to show you real quick here is fried zucchini. And this is my favorite way i love fried zucchini yummy, yummy, yummy. fried yellow squash squash not squash everybody making fun of my squash um this is in dining on a dime on page 137 and um mike put the link in there it's the first one that's in there and um the easy one, yes. So let me get everything over here so I can show you how easy this is. 
do we have any questions while I'm getting them? Actually, I was just about to tell you. Uh, let's see. Karen says she loves your um, apron. your apron. Thank you. And this your mom should sell them. <laughs> she also says she has a recipe for the most awesome chocolate zucchini bread. Oh yeah, chocolate zucchini bread is like the best. I mean, really, I believe you. It's it's a really good cake. <laughs> Leanne says I love courgette. That's what we call zucchini in the UK in a oh. stir fry. Oh yeah, That's it's yummy. really good in a stir stir fry. That's a great idea. Okay, now for your I'm heating up my oil for your fried zucchini or fried squash. You can use the the yellow squash. I love that. Add milk. Oops, dropped a piece of basil in there. Add milk and an egg in a bowl. Whisk it together. questions while we're at it. Um, and, one person says meatloaf. Oh yeah, you can add it to meatloaf. Wrong and I person. forgot my seasoned salt. Now Mike and I have to be gluten free. So this is gluten free flour and this is just regular all purpose flour. I refilled it somewhere. It should be on the counter. Oh, Mike right there by the Sprite. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. This is my homemade salt seasoning, seasoned salt, and you can get that it's on our YouTube video and or the recipes on our website. Put some of that in there. Then this is crushed up crackers. I am not using crackers for the gluten-free one, um, but I will use it for the others. Ooh. What? Dolly says, I just saw it made in the zucchini lasagna, and I want to try that. And um, Julie asks if the zucchini were the lasagna noodles. What yes. So what they do is how I shaved it like this. They cut it really, really thin. So it's like the whole, well, I don't know. How do I explain it? So it's like the whole like thickness what? of the zucchini. And then they lay it down and then they make a lasagna out of it. Yeah, that's a really good way to do it too, I think. Um, I need to try that one. I haven't actually tried that recipe yet. So then what you're going to do is... I've got my paper towel to drain them on. My faithful assistant, Michael, who is jumping up and down getting me all these things. Oh dear, that's not the most attractive. <laughs> Hold on, somebody spilled coffee all over here. I can tuck it under. Okay. There. Okay. Now, no one knows that I have coffee spilled paper towels. <laughs> so, what you do is you take your zucchini, and I don't know if my oil is not really hot enough yet. Okay, do we have any questions while I'm waiting for my oil to get hot? Um. <laughs> You can bring it Retrieve back. Retrieve bonsai says, post an all caps for questions to the hosts, please. I'm not sure what that's about. But, so on uh, YouTube, what they're doing now is posting all the questions that they have for me oh, so and caps, so it's easier to see. Yeah. Um, Dolly also says, extra zucchini is good for feeding the chickens. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of things, Take apparently. Take tacos. <laughs> zucchini tacos? Yeah. He's being smart because he just has to have tacos for everything. Yes. Yo, funny dude, you. Okay, so what you do is you zip, dip your zucchini in the milk and egg. For gluten-free, I just dip it straight in my gluten-free flour because usually it's pretty grainy. Okay, there. So I'm going to do a few gluten-free ones here for Mike and I first. I always do the gluten-free first and then I do the so that I don't have to change pans or anything. Oh yum, is that for tonight? Yes. I haven't made these for years because when we went gluten-free I just stopped cooking all that stuff because I couldn't find any gluten-free powders or I mean flours that were decent. Well, Christine says I add parmesan cheese while they're cooking too. Oh, yeah, Parmesan cheese would be really good. That's a great idea. Here's more questions. 
Bring on the questions. Uh, Bonita says, has anyone tried the brownies? Tried what brownies? I'm thinking she made the zucchini brownies. I haven't tried them, but I bet they would be really, really good. I mean, because zucchini, like I said, is a neutral flavor. You don't really have flavor with it. It just adds a really moist texture. So it adds moistness to your to your meals so that um, your stuff doesn't get dried out, which is really good. My mother's going to have a cow when she sees me wipe my hands on a paper towel. I don't think I've ever written ever wiped my hands on a paper towel that I forgot my dish towels for <laughs> for the show. I guess I could grab one from behind me. <laughs> Any other questions? Coffee on your hand. Yeah, I just clicked away by accident. Uh, somebody had asked about uh, freezing the shredded zucchini, and another person asked, how long does it last frozen? And somebody else asked, does it uh, get watery when you do it? So I just freeze it like this, and it lasts three to six months. Usually I go about six months because I'm slow and I forget it's in there. Yes, it does get watery. So what you can do is when you drain it, just drain it in a colander. When you defrost it, drain, let it just sit in a colander, and then all the excess moisture will drip out. You can use that extra moisture in your, so you can use that extra water from the zucchini in your zucchini bread and just take out that amount of liquid. So if you have milk for your recipe, then just take out that amount of milk that you have. Did you answer about how long it lasts in the freezer? Yeah, about, it lasts about three to six months. Okay, and Sue asks, do you take out any seeds? I don't, I just eat the seeds, yeah. It doesn't bother me. You can, if you want, slice it down the middle and scoop the seeds out, which is also a good way to make a zucchini boat. And they fill it with things like um, hamburger. You could do a hamburger with green pepper and onion mixture in there, a chili mixture. You know, you could do a pizza um, type thing. So what they do to make zucchini boats is they cut them like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes. And I think... I don't know if they take off, I've never made them, I don't know if they take off the, um, I don't know if they take, I don't think they take off the peel, but, um, well, I hate to, here. Do you need something? No. I think they're just say zucchini brownies or cake are both very good. Okay, so this one's pretty fresh, so they'll just take and cut out a little bit here in the center of your zucchini like this and I'm not doing a very good job because I've got too many things going right now let's see they just take all this out here and then you have oops I went too far you're supposed to leave a little in so your stuff doesn't fall out see I left the end up there like you know like a kayak and then you fill it with hamburger and cheese or you could do pizza, like pepperonis, or sausage and cheese, or tomato sauce. You can do anything like that. So that's a zucchini boat. Okay. Any other questions? Yes. Um, then drain them on a paper towel. Sorry, dear. Drain them on a paper towel when you take them out, and all the excess oil will go on the paper towel there. Go ahead. Crafty Harper says, could you use finely chopped nuts as a coating for the zucchini? I have no idea. That is a new one on me. Um, I don't know. Has anybody used nuts before? Because I've never used nuts. So somebody comment, please, and let us know, because I've never done that. So I'm making a couple more, oops, a couple more for Mike and I here before I go on to the regular. And Big Bear says when you make the boats, don't take off the skin. And he says spoon out the seeds. Yeah, I was thinking you would leave the skin on because that would be uh, that would be more stabilizing for your... Um, yeah, for your stuff. Okay, let me get a couple more here. Cheryl says, Crystal, Wisconsin here. Hi, Tara. Hope all's well for you guys. Thank 
you, Crystal. Glad to have you. And your mom said, back when you were almost about to cut yourself, your mom said she was just about to tell you not to cut yourself. Now, would I cut myself, dear? Only if you have a knife in my hand. Something that roughly approximates the braided edge in your hand. So, hands. I'm one of those people that is always cutting herself because I'm just not paying attention. Poor Mike, he's always coming home with my hand having this huge bandage on it. Show me your arm. My arm. It was burned yesterday when you were at the video. Oh, yeah, see my burn? That's real oh, attractive. That was it. Sorry, it was out of the shot. Oh. Hold on just a second. I... Ugh. Okay, so there's my burn. So on Saturday, I woke up with a horrible sore throat. I burned myself on the heat gun putting in my drip irrigation. Then I cut... Which finger? I'm not giving you the finger, but I cut this finger. And then I almost choked to death. Literally I almost choked to death. My son saved me, thankfully. Um, and then what was the other thing? Something else happened to me, major. No. What was it? I can't even remember now because it just happens to me all the time. I don't remember, but it's a day in the life. I know. That's just the way I am all the time. Um, so make sure you flip them over about halfway through. It does smell delicious. It smell good? It smells so delicious. We need to have Mike's taste test. Whoa. Oh, you got on Fire! Oh. That'll make the show get a lot of views really quick. That would. Uh, don't ask, have you ever tried to use coconut flour or almond flour? Yeah, you could use coconut or almond flour if you want. I personally don't like them. Almonds make me sick. But yeah, if if you can eat if that's something that you eat, that would be perfectly fine. Well Heidi said hi by the way. Hello, Heidi, thank you. Um by the way, mom is gonna be on tomorrow recorded on YouTube. So if you're on Facebook and you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go over there and subscribe. We got some shows recorded and we got one on today. And one of our viewers kindly noted that mom's voice was like muted. <laughs> we know, Michael. That's what happens when your son in law edits your video. <laughs> uh -huh, we know. So tomorrow, no, tomorrow or Saturday? I don't know. Saturday? What day are we putting mom on? Uh, as soon as possible. Well, I don't I, know. I was planning for it to be tonight or tomorrow. Okay. It might be Just later. go look at our YouTube channel. And she'll show up one of these days, tomorrow or Saturday. I don't know what, or Friday. Um, we're going to go see Joyce Meyer on tomorrow night. She's in Denver. We're so excited. I saw her two years ago. She was great. So I'm excited about that. Man, alive. I'm hungry. All right. So then that's how you do the gluten-free ones. Now, so I don't have to change oil and make a whole nother mess and use more oil. I'm going to show you how to make the regular ones. Well, Michael, I got too many things going on here. Well, Michael gives me some uh, questions. Um, there were some questions about pasta. Robin said, what about a spiralizer for uh, noodle replacement? Yes, you could use a spiral thing and bobber. Yep. I should put that a link in there. I'll put a link in the... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just looked out my kitchen window, and the neighbor had a tree growing out of her head. <laughs> and it, she was moving a potted plant out. It looked hilarious. <laughs> sorry. Um, where, where was I? You came outside, we could switch. I through. know, we do. Um, what was the question? Do we have any spiralizer idea? for noodle? Replacement. Oh, yeah, you could. You could do that. Okay, so now, um, if you want to make regular, um, regular flour, uh, fried zucchini, onions, rings, squash, and by the way, you can use this for onion rings, mushrooms, squash, and, um, 
yellow zucchini, squash. yellow squash, all that. If you want to do that, take your zucchini, dip it in the flour first, then dip it in the milk, and then dip it in the crackers. And that's how you make the regular. And you do the gluten-free first so that there's no contamination yeah. for gluten-free people. Yes. Yeah. Because for me, it makes me pretty sick to eat gluten. Mike, it just kind of, well, we just won't say what it does for Mike. But, <laughs> it's not feel very good. Um, so, but this is the way I do it so that I don't have to make two different meals. Any other questions while I'm doing this up? Well, Christine also asked, do you use zucchini instead of pasta noodles? I think that you pretty much um, Oops, I missed a step. Um, I don't, but I'm thinking about trying it because I had never thought about that till this year when I just saw that today um, to use the zucchini, um, to use the zucchini noodles. I didn't even know you could do that until today. And I'm going to try that. Robin said, I used to dice up carrots, onions, and zucchini and spaghetti. Um, but then she says her youngest girls won't eat it that way now. I know. That the kids really grow good, up though. and then they figure out your tricks. And Okay, so I think this is the most paper towels I've used in <laughs> six months. <laughs> we don't use paper towels at our house. We use rags. And, yeah, we just do. Okay, now that I have a really big mess because I don't have my rag to wipe up as I go along. To show you how I finish these. Any other questions? Um, let's see. There was something here. I oh, and keep your medium. Keep your heat about medium. Go ahead. <laughs> so Sorry. Carrie says I love zucchini chocolate brownies, like the other people were saying. Anna says I tried zucchini pineapple and it's really good. I even used it in pineapple upside down cake. I have no idea what zucchini pineapple is. What is it? Can you tell us? Because I've never heard of that before. Um, Karen says I have a recipe for zucchini cobbler. It tastes like an apple cobbler. Wow. Wow, man. Maybe I need to get all you guys' recipes and make up a zucchini cookbook because we're going to start offering um, on Patreon. Mike's trying to get it done this week. Um, and we're going to start offering a free ebook every month for $3 on our Patreon account. And, uh, so it'd just be a, like a subscription and you can cancel it at any time or, or, you know, you don't have to keep going, but we're going to start offering that hopefully pretty soon. Um, that would be a great ebook to offer for free to our people. Um, so just. While these are finishing cooking, this week our dig out of debt, not this week, permanently. Our menus on a dime, quick and easy menus, and Pity Pinch and Mama are all 50% off. This is our sales plug at the moment. We are clearing out the garage. When these are gone, they're gone. We are not reprinting them. They will be ebook only. We do still have dining on a dime, but at the moment we only have 10 cases left. And so when they're gone, we'll reorder. <laughs> I had you for a minute there. Okay, just kidding. Um, so our dining on a dime, we are going to reorder this dining on a dime, but I only have 10 cases left at the moment. So if you want them for before Christmas for anything, you'll want to order it now. And uh, the other books, when they're gone, they're gone. We aren't reprinting them. They're only going to be in eBooks which we will be putting on our Patreon account. That'll, those will be some of the eBooks that we offer for free um, on our account. Because it's just going to be like a subscription type thing, $3 a month or more if you want. We'll have different tiers. And um, hopefully Mike's going to get that done next week. We'll see. We'll see. Patreon. Be, yeah. We're hoping. Um, any other comments or questions? Debbie says watermelon and zucchini tacos. That's just weird, Big Bear. Actually, uh, Big Bear said, where was it, uh, for your burn? Oh. Use lavender and frankincense oil for the burn. Oh, man, that's good. And he also said, did somebody say fried squash? <laughs> mm. Oh, 
Yeah. Jimmy did. Big Bear yeah. has fried squash on his um, show. That um, delicious. Look at that. Jack, can you grab the ranch dressing? So that's what it should look like when it's done. Can you get the ranch dressing, please? Oh, ranch. And um, then drain it on your paper towel. See how they're just nicely golden brown? And you can do this with eggplant, onions, squash, zucchini, onion rings, mushrooms. Make onion rings. This is the same recipe for all of those. Um, okay. Thank you. All right, dear. Here, I'll send one over. Whoa. So if I burn myself? No. You, well, I don't think so. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we going to try one? Wow. That is super delicious. Oh, man. Wait, I need, to, I need to be on you when you're eating it. I am sorry. That is so good. Man, your wife is a good cup, dude. <laughs> I know. Here, you want one more? Sure. Okay. That one's a little You need warmer. to eat one on camera so they Oops. can see your, your reaction. See my reaction? Let me find mm -hmm. one so I don't burn myself. That'd really be a reaction. Mmm. Man. Oh, maybe I should start inviting the readers over to cook with me. <laughs> mm. Mm, mm, mm. And double. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that is really good. Okay, so I'm going to sit down now amongst my mess. Oh, man, it's worth it, though. I absolutely love fried zucchini and everything, and I'm so glad I found a... a I found a, what do I call it, a gluten-free uh, flour that I like. I'm, I'm till, still testing it out, so I don't want to recommend it yet, although it was really good for this, but I don't know about baked goods yet. Uh, any other questions? Anita <laughs> keeps calling it squish. <laughs> I think it's funny. He's a friend that called it that. Um, she says, I've used ground-up walnuts or pecans with squish in my baked squish, so I don't see why you couldn't use it as a coating. Yeah, I would say you probably could. I don't know why you couldn't, but um, yeah, you probably could. Grizz270 says my favorite way to eat summer squash mm -hmm. is fried with onions and butter and salt and pepper with no flour. That's true. I will just put it in the pan with a little bit of butter, both zucchini and regular squash and onion, and it's really good. I know it sounds plain, but <clears throat> there's a reason why comfort food is comfort food, because it tastes good. And that's how my grandmother who used to make it on the farm and then my grand my great grandmother used to make it on the farm and then my grandmother made it also. Crafty Harper says mm. fertilizer and zucchini equals zoodles and somebody else said something about zoodles too. And I guess that's what you call them when you spiral them. Oh. Hmm. Zucchini noodles. Maybe I'll have to try that. Rhonda says I use cornmeal instead. W doesn't like them in flour. Mm. Yes, you could use cornmeal. I can't eat corn either. That's why I didn't use cornmeal. But yes, you could use cornmeal. That's a great idea. Uh, oops. Um, somebody said, oh, Big Bear says, I like using panko crumbs. What are panko crumbs, Big Bear? I have uh, no he says idea. They're the breadcrumbs used in tempura. Okay, and, I have no idea what that is, but you can we, try it. <laughs> we tree bonsai says that's awesome in meatloaf also zucchini yeah i hear it's really good what the the thing with zucchini is what it does is it adds moisture so your stuff is not dried out that's why zucchini bread is so popular because it's just so soft and moist and it's not a hard chunk and the same thing with meatloaf it's not a hard chunk when you add the zucchini because there's so much liquid in the zucchini that it um gives it the moisture that you need and i am having a very hard time resisting eating more of those <laughs> uh debbie asks are they crunchy on the inside or do they get soft they're soft on the inside which is what i like i like the crunchy outside and the soft inside but, but you know that's me so we treat bonsai wants to make sure that you've turned the skillet off after you i did story. <laughs> yes i did turn the skillet off i made sure because i do have a habit of leaving it on and anita says if only we had smell a vision no kidding, Anita. This is this is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let me look over on Facebook here. There's more. Uh, Kimberly says zucchini cream cheese wontons are yummy. Zucchini 
cream cheese wonton. So you would, I would assume you would shred your zucchini, add cream cheese with maybe onion and garlic and salt powder and salt, and then put it in the wontons and fry it. That would be really good. And Karen says zucchini fritters. Yeah, is that what that is? Zucchini fritters. No, that's where you shred them. So if you want to make zucchini fritters, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is the way you do it. Add to your shredded zucchini here, add an egg. I would probably do two to three times this amount of zucchini and add an egg. Beat up an egg, add an egg, a little bit of flour, I don't know, a quarter cup or so. And then make patties. It's like making pan um, potato pancakes. Look for our potato pancake recipe at Living on a Dime and just use zucchini instead of potatoes. And then fry them is how you would do it. And that would be really good. What would you put on top of that? Applesauce maybe? I don't know. I'll check for a comment in just a second. Robin said she missed the answer about how long uh, she could freeze shredded zucchini. And she says, can I do the same thing for summer squash? Yes, you can do it for both. And the shredded zucchini will last three to six months in your freezer. I usually go six months because I forget it's in there. And then I realize, oh, it's May. I got to get it used up. So, yeah. Well, not quite May, but yeah. Uh, oops. I lost my place. Uh-oh. Uh, looks great. Is that dinner tonight? Yes, it is. Along with our honey baked chicken, which is our number one meat recipe, main dish recipe on the website. I should have had Mike put that recipe, but we're having honey baked chicken and we're having fried zucchini and squash. So mm -hmm. Robin says, now I'm making the bread. I know it's recommended when making blueberry muffins, you can use frozen blueberries, but don't thaw them out. I've never had a problem with that. So I wonder if you can do the same frozen zucchini. You can. It'll just, bread making. yeah, so, it'll be more moist. I drain mine just because it's a little too much liquid for me. I would maybe add a quarter to a half a cup of flour if you're going to do, if you're not going to drain it, because that would be quite, that would be pretty liquidy. And uh, Sarah says, I slice the zucchini and put it on a cookie sheet and freeze it and then put it in a Ziploc bag. You can do that. I just, what I do is I just throw it all in the steamer so it just comes out fine for me. <laughs> I don't fry it after I've frozen it. You can. Robin also says, sounds like you had a busy weekend then. And, glad, and another Robin says, I'm glad you're still alive. Well, thank you guys. I did have a busy weekend, although I was very disappointed because I spent like six hours working to get my drip irrigation going because I have a huge garden. Only to find out after I got it running that my yard goes like this. It slopes upward. So let's see. So it starts down and it goes up and then it goes down and then it goes up. Well, the drip where it comes out of the ground is on the down part. And I found out after I did all that work and didn't even think about it, that there's not enough pressure for it to go up for gravity. So now after all that work, I just have to go get some hoses and I'm just going to have to lay drip hoses and just stick my hose on the end of it and just water each individually. If you guys go to my garden tour on YouTube, you can see I have a massive garden. And the reason why I have a massive garden is because Mike promised me when we moved in, I would have drip irrigation. <laughs> and he put it in, and we got it put in, but it hasn't worked since we got it put in. So I was bound to determined to get it done, and I just, I just am not supposed to have drip. So <laughs> live and learn. Kim says, dang, girl, you're a hot mess. <laughs> yeah, that's putting it nicely. Mike says other words about me, but... <laughs> I do not. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, Kathy asked, what is a spiralizer? Because we were talking about it a little while so ago. So spiralizer is where you put, I've never used one, but if I understand right, you put like your zucchini or whatever in there and it rotates down. So it makes a spiral in your potatoes or your zucchini or your squash, whatever. Apples, maybe. And then it makes spirals so that you have like these curly Q things. Like the curly fries that, um... Arby's, it makes the curly cues like that. Yeah. Sarah says our favorite muffins are our favorite muffins and bread is banana, carrot, and zucchini. Banana, uh, carrot, zucchini, and pumpkin are mine, but unfortunately I haven't found the gluten. 
So if anybody has a good gluten-free flour for baking, please let me know. I have tried Bob's Red Mill. I have tried Pamela's is okay, but I think the almond flour makes me sick. So if you have a good gluten-free flour mix or a recipe for one, please send it my way because I've been gluten-free for five years and I have yet to find a good gluten-free flour mix. So I would really love to do that. Catherine said, what kind of oil are you frying in? I'm just frying it in regular vegetable oil, nothing fancy, just regular canola vegetable oil. You could fry it in shortening. You could fry it in butter or margarine, but the butter burns really easy. And so butter is not the best thing to fry like coatings in, but it's good to just fry it just to cook it up. It gives it a nice brown texture. But if you, you need to cook the coating ones a little bit longer than just frying it plain because it has to go through all the coating. And so it might burn. Kimberly says, I like to make zucchini donuts. I have no idea what a zucchini donut would be, but I guess like a zucchini bread, maybe? That would make sense. Yeah, I could see that. That sounds pretty interesting. I wonder what you put, do you glaze it or do you powder sugar it? Oh, oh no, sorry. Yeah. Uh, your mom was saying she was having a heart attack about you using all the paper towels and there was a little paper towel conversation going on here. Oh. Kimberly says, I love your super cute apron. Thank you. This one mom didn't make. This one I got from my aunt. So, and by the way, guys, just so you know, all the aprons that did, mom did make, they're a pain in the rear to make. So she, she hates making them. So I don't think she's ever going to make me another apron again in my life. But that's why she doesn't make them and sell them because she hates making them. Donna likes your new birthday clock. Thank you. Isn't it cute? I love it. And Crystal asked, can you use it for fried tomatoes? Yes, fried green tomatoes is great. And ugh, why didn't I do that? I got some green tomatoes out in the gar garden. Um, yeah, you can make fried green tomatoes with it. They're really good. Evie says, my grandma always cooked it with tomatoes and onions and froze it. I think. Okay. The, the zucchini. I and then I don't know what she would use it for. Maybe like a spaghetti sauce or something, I guess, type thing. That would be good, yeah. Kimberly says zucchini soap question mark zucchini soap yeah I wish that's funny <laughs> um, Jennifer says my mother-in-law calls the fritters zucchini pancakes yeah I've heard zucchini pancakes potato pancakes is another variation of that yeah Cheryl says I have the same gnome I'm not which one I'm not sure which one you showed sure you had the same gnome the one in the in the back here on the floor my daughter got me that one for my birthday I'm a collector of all things gnome I probably have at least a hundred gnomes so they're everywhere I just wish they would wake up at night and come clean my kitchen for me oh MJ Ray says I like making the zucchini on the grill yes mm. yeah that would be really good Mm -hmm. uh, oh, oops. I'm not sure what it was oh, about because that's further down the line from where we were, but um, oops, where did it go? Uh, Robin said, what size I'll, I'm happy to make you one. Mm. Make me one what? I'm not sure. That's what I was wondering. Robin, I have no idea what you're talking about, but if you tell me what you'd make me one of, I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy says, I keep looking at the clock over your left shoulder and thinking, holy cow, it's getting late. Yeah, that's a towel, not a clock. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, a little bit more about spaghetti. Okay, let me look over back on YouTube again because I've, I've been on. Sorry, guys, my nose. Oh, Old Ways New Time says, can you dehydrate zucchini or summer squash? Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Um, and Grizz270 says, dried zucchini is really good in soups. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be a good way to do it. I should have mom dehydrate some if she was coming back. Problem is, she's never back here during the zucchini season, so. Hmm. Uh, oh, Anita says, your garden is lovely. I love the flowers you planted for your birthday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, Grizz270 says, I like smoke drying some of my summer squash and use it in venison chili beans. Okay, that's a new one. Hmm. I have never heard of that before, but I've never had venison, so. Hmm. 
All right, well, there's 10 ways to make zucchini. Don't forget, our books are on sale here. And tomorrow, we're doing an interview with um, Big Family Homestead is going to be on YouTube, so go check it out. It's pretty funny, actually. They're, we're doing a series on practical preparedness, and they've got some actually some really good tips. I'm really impressed with all of the good tips that they were giving us for I know they're homesteaders, but they gave some really good tips for people like us who aren't homesteaders, but still feel like you need to be ready for that flood or tornado or hurricane. Um, so be sure to check out our interview with Big Bear Homestead. Also, go to YouTube because mom is on there, guys. We got her recorded, and she's talking about the first five years of my life. Except we had to take it down because we have to fix it. Yeah, so it's going to be on there probably tomorrow or Friday. Um, notice it was the first five years of my life instead of mom's story. <laughs> Just kidding. So she's telling her story about how um, she may do as a new bride, and then later when my parents were divorced, how she raised two teenagers on $500 a month. So she's going to be talking about that for, uh, well, probably a few weeks because we're only up to the first, I don't know, like four or five years of my life, and... Things got really hairy after dad left, so, <laughs> so that could be interesting. But um, yeah, so please check us out at livingonadime.com. Subscribe on YouTube, follow us on Facebook, and I feel like I'm forgetting something. That's why I'm stalling. I can't remember. I guess not. Have a good night, guys, and we will see you Saturday at 6 p.m. Mountain Time with the Homestead Network. And be sure to check out the Homestead Network because we got a whole bunch of really cool YouTube YouTubers on there that have some great tips and ideas. So, and even though we are on the Homestead Network, we will be. It is on our channel. Yes, it's on our YouTube channel at 6 p.m. Our Facebook on Saturday, Mountain Time. Have a great night. We'll see you guys later.